a very good morning here from Sanu. You just uh, saw the pictures of us taking the boat back here to the main island of Bali from Nusa Penida, which you can see in the far distance over there. It's right now uh, 12 o'clock. And uh, oh, I hear a Dutch so song on the, on the speakers. But nevertheless, I rented another NMAX motorbike for three days. And um, I just said goodbye to my father. We had a great time for, uh, for the five days we were together. I will see him on the last day of my travel as well in Kuta. We have another hotel booked so uh, we can enjoy one more day. But right now I'm solo again. I'm back on my own with my bag. I will leave my check-in luggage here in the hotel. And uh, so it's just me, my camera and my bag. Today I'm driving to Ahmed, which is gonna take me around uh, three hours, I think. So uh, it's gonna be a long trip, but a nice one. And, uh, Ahmed is known for uh, its diving culture. So maybe tomorrow I'm gonna dive or snorkel or some other water sports. That's why I'm going there as well. And over there you have a beautiful view of the volcano, the Gumungagum. <clears throat> I've been there uh, like four years ago for the first time. And that's when I fell in love with Ahmed. It's all the way in the north of Bali. Right now I'm in the south. So that's why it's gonna take a pretty long time to get there. But I'll be fine. And I'm gonna enjoy as well, so. Uh... Yeah, here we are. There it is, my NMAX. It's brand new, the guy told me. Mud green, as you can see, with the golden rims. Very sporty bike. Yes, all right. I'm gonna drive out of this uh, busy tourist Sanur town. So I'm gonna see you later when it's safe to get the camera out. But for now, I need to uh, drive safe and be very careful. So I will see you later and uh, enjoy the ride. All right, I made my first pit stop. I got some pertamina, as they call it here, uh, petrol. Um, so the bike is full of pertamina. So we're ready to go to Ahmed, this beautiful beast. And um, I stopped here at the Circle K supermarket to get some uh, money out of the ATM and get myself some lunch as you can see over here so I will be ready for the long ride up to the north I ordered myself a chicken hot dog so let's see what the chicken hot dog is about hmm. it looks uh, pretty spicy they asked me do you like spicy I said a little bit this doesn't look like a little bit, but let's see. All right, there we go, the journey begins. All right, I encountered my first uh, problem on my way to uh, Ahmed. This is the big road. There's my bike, I'm here at a garage shop. Because on the dash, it says it needs new oil. Which is really strange, because I just rented this bike, like an hour or two ago. But uh, these guys are helping me out to get the new oil in. Mm. I just called uh, the rental company. And they say it's on their bill, so I need to take the receipt. And then they will uh, pay me back later on. But it was strange, because the motor uh, started acting weird and uh, then the sign came up, it needs new oil. Strange, they gave it away like this, the motorbike. It's brand new as well, so, uh, oh well. I'm still alive though, and uh, they're gonna fix it, these guys. So, uh, Yes, this is what happens when you rent a motorbike 
in a foreign country. But um, I will be fine. You see, all these helpful people, they will help you. Oh, the oil comes out. What is happening? Oil. Yeah. <laughs> what is so funny? I have no idea. This is like oil, uh, old oil. Yes. Old. Yeah. Ah, that's why it's giving a sign. I don't really understand it. I think the sign uh, means that there is no oil anymore, but oil is coming out. Good now. Let's check. Can check, I turn check. it on? Check, check. Hmm. Did he catch it? The oil sign is still blinking. Nice, man. Thank you, guys. <laughs> sama, sama. Sama, sama. Yes, all right. How much? Donate. Uh, 75. Yeah, okay. Five, two. That's it. Alright, yeah. the, re the rest is for you, okay? Okay. For you. Thank you, thank you. Do you have a receipt? Contact all the receipts. <laughs> <laughs>in Chandidasa after uh, two hours of driving so let's find a nice beach I was looking here on Google Maps I'm here and uh, this looks nice very blue and a little beach so I might go there I think it's a few hundred meters uh, straight forward so let's go watch out was a pretty tough... Uh, what the fuck? Ay, ay, ay. Ooh, I'm lucky. This thing was in the ground, you see? That's why it fell. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Like something to drink? Yes, and eat. Yes. I came all the way from Sanur. Oh. On the motorbike. Oh, it's yeah. very hot. <laughs> yeah, it's very hot and long, eh? Yeah. So now I'm in for a break. Oh, yeah. You know? Is it possible to swim here? Yes. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. Oh, you want to sit in here? Uh, yeah, here is nice. Here. Okay. With a nice view, you know? Yes. Do you have Sate Lilith? No. Ah, I'm looking for it for a week now. <laughs> Nobody has Lilith. Uh, no, we have uh, like a uh, mid chicken satay yeah satay. okay yeah. do you know why many restaurants don't have satay lilith uh, because it's a bit difficult to make ah difficult yeah. to make ah uh, that's yeah, why oh i guess sometimes to take it like that ah yeah maybe you can find in lesehan in lesehan yeah what yeah. is that like a like a restaurant but a small dinner restaurant small dinner restaurants yes. ah okay good to know yeah i will look for it then okay okay i'm gonna have a look thank yes. you Bag over here. Oh my god. All right. Put these glasses off. Oh, yo. Oh, wow. 
Look at this. So she told me it's possible to swim here. So that's what I'm gonna do after my meal. Although people say you should not swim after you had food, but it's gonna be all right. I'm not going too far into the ocean because there's also a current over there. So I'm just stand in the ocean, so nothing will happen. I'm gonna stay safe. Let's see. Pandan restaurant, Chandidasa. All right, my bintang has arrived. Bintang Radler Lemon. This is so refreshing. She already poured some uh, in my glass, so let's have a try. Just like lemonade. And on the side we have some Balinese peanuts. Very good. Look at this. We've got a little barbecue, so we can turn our satays ourselves. They're already good to eat, but this is just to, uh, to keep them hot, keep them warm. And um, yeah, you see, you can turn them yourself and wait a little while to uh, get them even better. Serve with some satay sauce and a little salad and uh, the rice. And I got myself another Bintang Radler. What is life good at the moment? So I'm gonna enjoy. See you later when I'm gonna take a dive in the ocean. All right, just have my food. I'm going for a swim. Got my towel with me. This is a fast drying towel, so that's great for a moment like this. Look at this beautiful view in Chandidasa. So this is like the east side of Bali. And when the journey will continue, I will drive to the north. So uh, this is beautiful. Wow, look at this. Hello. This is a typical fishing boat from Bali. Beautiful. Hello. All right. No clean, yeah? Sorry? No clean. No clean? What do you mean? Snorkel? Yeah. No, I'm going to Ahmed. I'm just gonna take a quick dip in the sea and then I'm driving to Ahmed. One hour? Yeah, good. <laughs> One hour, no. Thank you. I appreciate the hustle, but no. Yeah. Thank you. Prima <laughs> Kasi. Alright, let's go for the dip. Three, two, one. Oh. It's a very nice dip. So this is a beautiful place to hang out. It's a little bit more quiet than the uh, other cities. Back to the south of Bali, like Kuta, Sanu, Changu. Here you can get a taste of the local life as well. So I, I prefer places like this. All right, I'm ready to continue the journey. Put it in maps. Jukung Dive Bali Resort in Ahmed. Still 55 minutes. So. Uh, Let's not wait anymore and get this motorbike going. Look at this, people. I just uh, made a stop to let this view sink in for a moment. Wow.
final pit stop before I reach Ahmed. This is a beautiful place to have a pit stop. Look at this. Wow, all the rice fields. The sun is uh, almost setting, so uh, the whole valley turns a little bit orange, yellow. You see all these people working on their uh, crops. Or I don't know how you call it in English, but uh, yeah, working. Isn't this beautiful? Wow. Hello, Salamat Pagi. Or Salamat Datang, I don't know. Salamat datang, right? Salamat malam. Malam. Good evening. <laughs> I think I told him good morning. <laughs> Funny. It is Salamat malam. It's good evening. People are getting their food over here. It's like a food stand. Isn't this beautiful, people? All right, we're driving into the city. Uh, it's not really a city, it's like a, a beach town of Ahmed. We made it. After five hours, we made it up here. This is such a beautiful and uh, relaxed place. So I can't wait to explore it uh, the proper way because last time I was here, I was only here for uh, one day, like an afternoon. So not, I didn't even slept over here. Uh, I'm curious what it's gonna bring for me. Hey, Bali Wellness. That's where I'm going. Hi, hi, hi. I'm in much need of a massage. Two more minutes and then I will arrive at my hotel. Wow, the road here is uh, in a pretty bad condition. All right, we made it safely after a trip of five hours from Sanwu. Um, this is my hotel. The Jukung Diving Resort. So let's uh, let's check out, or no? Let's check in and let's check out. All right. Hello. Hello. Yes, you can help. This is the Jukung. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, I have a reservation. Hotel. What's your name? You already booking? Yes. Loris. Yes. Oh, no. Hi. Oh, yeah. You're already expecting me. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, I came all the way from Sanur. Oh, yeah. Yes. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. Oh, very warm. That's nice. So, uh, that's a nice swimming pool. Here you have a lounge area with a beautiful view. Across the sea. So we're now in the northern part of Bali. Beautiful. Look at these flowers, the frangipani flower. The smell of this is so amazing. When you smell it, you will think of Bali instantly. So, um, you know, this hotel is fine by me. It's not the most luxurious, but um, I don't really care about that. And if you hear what I paid for this, you will be stunned. So, what I paid for this is 23 euros a night. So that's nothing. It's a good price uh, for a seafront room. 
I think it's a good price. So here's the frangipani. Hmm. I love the smell. All right, I'm gonna head back to my room. I think I'm gonna skip this for uh, today. I already had a swim in the sea. So I think I'm gonna take a shower. And then uh, head over to a spa. This is my room. Let's get uh, comfortable, unpack all my things and uh, have a refresh moment. And after that I'm gonna go outside again and see what, uh, what Ahmed is about in the evening. Oh my god, it's very hot. Is this thing even working? I have no idea. Whew. So yeah, you have a little sea view. They sell it as a sea view. Ah, you have a sea view. You see it over there? I'm gonna close this curtain, otherwise everybody will look inside. And uh, let's see. Oh wow. Oh, this is like an outside bathroom. That is cool. <laughs> Need to watch out for the dangerous animals in the night if you're going to the toilet. <laughs> but this is cool. Okay, okay. Got a ladder here for your towels. And if people want to take a sneak peek, they can. I hope they do not do it. Let's see. Let's check the shower. It is a normal shower head, as you can see. Oh, nice. All right, you know what? I think it's very fine for 23 euros a night. No worries. Okay, I'm gonna fresh up, charge all my things again, and uh, I will see you later on, okay? Ciao. Oh, always good to do a double check, as you can see. Ay, ay, ay. Yes, perfect. All right, here we go. See you at the motorbike. Ah, uh, water, water. Says my message to you. I need aqua because this man is thirsty. I need some water. Okay. All right, I finally succeeded at the third spa where I went. They gave me a really nice cup of tea, which will help me relax. And after that, here I got the menu. I will take a Balinese massage for 60 minutes, which will cost me 140,000 rupiah. That's a good deal. So I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna see you later. All right, I just finished my massage here at Aura Boutique and Spa Center. This was the best massage I had in times. This was crazy. I'm, I feel like a new person again. So I uh, tipped uh, the lady from the massage as well because yeah this was insane oh my god I'm still enjoying all right so uh, here's my motorbike now let's get something to eat because I'm very hungry